Let's go over drag force. So let's say that you have a diamond earring and it falls into a lake. Now what we're trying to do is calculate the coefficient of drag, this B term you see right here. I have the equation for drag force, it's negative B times V, where B is the coefficient and V is the terminal velocity. And we have the mass of this earring. Now I didn't really emphasize this in the problem, but I'm just gonna say this is terminal velocity. There's a reason why it's important that it's terminal velocity, because terminal velocity implies that the drag force and the weight force are equal because we're no longer accelerating downward. So we know that the weight force is mass times gravitational acceleration, and then drag force is just gonna be B times V. Let's see if we can use this equation to solve for our coefficient of drag. Our M is gonna be mass, which is 0.2 kilograms. Our G is gravitational acceleration on Earth, which is 9.8, we're assuming that we're on Earth. And our velocity is gonna be the two meters per second. So plugging everything in, you should end up with 0.2 times 9.8 equals B times two, where we're just trying to solve for this B. So the way we can solve for B is by taking two and dividing it on both sides, that'll get the twos to cancel on the right, and 0.2 times 9.8 divided by 2 is equal to 0.98 newton seconds per meter.